Today's the Puget Sound Lingcott opener. And with a dock down the road from my house, I'm gonna be one of the first to hit the water. This morning, I've got a boatload of greenhorns. <laughs> one thing my family knows about me now is if they're coming to visit, we're going out on the boat. Doesn't matter what's open, we're going. Conditions were pretty prime for getting out and going lingcod fishing, so we decided to go uh, drop the jigs and try and catch some lingcod. Got to our spot, we let it drift to find out what direction we're drifting. Now we're gonna set up on the structure and see if we can get a lingcot. We're gonna go find this little kelp bed, this rocky kelp bed area where a lot of lingcod like to hang out. We're gonna drop our two herring rigs down and see if we get one. Go like this. Like that. Here we go, there's one rig. Got five ounce sinker that I'm gonna try on this. Cannonball sinker. You don't do big motions on the jigging, so it's the same thing where you test bottom, and we're kind of in some stuff right now. But you let it drop down, thumb on the spool. Move, that's bottom, a reel maybe three times, and then just little pops like that. The whole time? Yep, kind of just, you want it to look like a fish because it flutters down there. Oh, it's I huge. see. And then try to let it sit and float. 44, we're gonna be coming up, so just be aware that uh, we're gonna come up to about 30 something from 40s. Stay in the zone. Lingcod fishing's super fun and really active and hands on. 29, in the kelp bed, so this is a great spot. They're here. Another little baby, we're gonna send them back. I like to float over kelp beds and rocky structure. Coming up, there's a big old rock. They like to hide away in little crags, nooks and crannies, and target yeah, bait fish. What? <laughs> you must have gotten nibbled. Yeah, I felt nibbled, but nice. I didn't feel very deep. I think we're coming up to like a bit of a plateau, which is link cod territory. Okay. These shelves. A little bit kelpy down there, so just be aware. We're coming up 22, 22, 23. Typically I hit bottom with my jig and then crank up a few times um, and then just start jigging from there and hopefully stay away from the rocks. There you go. Kelly's on one. Kelly's on one. Comes right out. That's our target species, but he's too small, so we're gonna send him back. Nice. Dad's phone's too shitty for this, so we're gonna go to the GoPro. Target species, but it's too small, so we're gonna send it back. Puget Sound link cod regulations require a link cod with a slot limit of 26 inches to 36 inches, and it's one link cod per person per day. Oh, look at Got that. a little rockfish here. Look at it. 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 Look at You've got to be careful when handling rockfish because they have those really prickly spines. Um, if you get pricked by them, they are toxic, so you will feel it for a day. It's almost like a bee sting. Sick. Send this one back. Rockfish are really fun to catch. Some bigger ones put up a really great fight and they school up. So a lot of the time, if you get into one, you can drop down and get another two or three. Yeah. Dad's asleep, so we got to pay attention here. Oh, I'm calling up. 22. 21. Drop it right in their face. Oh, I just snagged up immediately. Careful. You try and loosen it up. See if you can try to let it out a little bit. I plan my link odd fishing around tide changes because the drift is just so much more efficient with less current. Oh, come on. 
less current means less snags, means more efficient fishing. Okay, I think we run two bait rods. Let's two see how rods. that goes. Yeah. Right. I'll try and minimize gear loss. It's tough. One rod. We're running one rod. I'm fishing. Oh, there we go. That boy, Dale. That's a good one. Oh, right here. So we got our first link caught in the box. Dylan was able to get it with the jig. It was awesome. Yeah. You can see this link caught's colored like the color of the kelp. So if you were to look at the kelp in here, same exact color. So he's uh, basically an ambush predator. He hides in that kelp and waits for little bait fish to come out. And this is the jig that we got him on right here. So we got him on this funny looking bait fish rig. Who even knows what that is? But he was hungry, took a nice nibble out of it, and he got hooked. Overall, it was a great day with the family. I'm gonna take this fish home and cut it up and make some fish tacos for dinner. Watch our next episode, which is San Juan Island's boat camping, where I go camp and fish for lingcod every day. Yeah.